everyone welcome back so in this video we will be seeing creating calculated properties so this will be the continuation from the previous video which is in module 3 and lesson 2 so this will be the last lesson in the module uh, 2 lesson 2 so uh, the calculator properties or custom properties uh, let us uh, choose the output label and content meaning um, if any built-in uh, let's say when we run the command it would display with some built-in property name so if we wanted to customize that name with our uh, preferred name so in that case uh, we could use this option and each calculator property works like a single regular property in the property list accepted by the select object and to create that calculated properties or custom properties we can use the following syntax so label or name which defines the property name and uh, next we will be using the expression so that would define the property content so within this expression we have to uh, you know we can use the uh, dollar ps item or dollar underscore so that refers to the piped in object so with this select dash object we can you know create a custom or calculated properties and uh, each of these properties will have a label or name in the uh, you know windows powershell to display the same way as it display the built-in property name so each of those calculated property or custom property also you know have an expression so that defines the content of that property so uh, this will be the example for the calculated property or the custom property hash table so uh, it will uh, the hash table that would start with the add symbol and the open brace close brace and uh, the end refers to the label or the name and uh, e refers to the expression key and uh, in the label key we will be specifying the uh, label string value and uh, the expression key that contains uh, the expression script block so this is called the script block so when we use the hash table to create a calculated properties or custom properties using the uh, select dash object command we must uh, you know specify um, these uh, values like the name or label and uh, expression so we can specify either a uh, label or we can just mention as a short form L and also we can uh, put a name or we can just uh, mention N instead of name uh, but it would be better to use a name or N or the full form label because the lowercase L uh, resembles the number one in some fonts so uh, we can try to use either name or n or label so for expression we can specify e or expression so this specify the expression that set the value of the calculated properties So uh, let us see an example for that. So by default, get dash process. So by default, uh, 
this command would provide the built-in properties pm ws cpu ig uh, process name so if we wanted to get this to be replaced with the custom properties then uh, we can use the following command get dash process we can use select or select dash object and select the name id and starting the hash table you can specify n or name you can also specify name i want to uh, specify the custom property as the virtual memory and uh, specifying the uh, expression so the hash table uh, can contain multiple items and uh, each item consists of uh, key and value or a name value pair so this will be the key and uh, this will be the uh, you know value so the value of that uh, virtual memory would be uh, vm and then the second hash table for page to memory specifying the name paged memory so this is just the string uh, we can uh, you know put any um, value here in the expression we can also uh, use dollar underscore instead of uh, ps item and pm is the uh, value for the page to memory and close phrase okay so if we look at this output the way we want like uh, previously it was used to be vm and pm in the default built-in property so that we have changed uh, to a custom property which is virtual memory and page memory so uh, this command includes two hash table one for the virtual memory and the another one for the page to memory so each one creates the calculator property so uh, if you wanted to modify this output the virtual memory and page to memory to display it in the megabytes then uh, we could use the abbreviation KB, MB, GB, or TB, something like that. Because of the Windows PowerShell understand these abbreviation representing KB for kilobytes and uh, MB for megabytes, GB for gigabytes, and TB for terabytes, and TB for petabytes. Let us see an example for that. So get dash process select name ID. can also specify all this in a single line command so I'm typing the same or uh, instead of name we can also type name or I can also use a label here virtual memory in MB and the expression 
I can also type expression instead of E. PM 1 MB. In the next as table, you can also use a label N or name. Paged memory in MB. And the uh, expression slash one MB. So if you look at these output, the virtual memory and the page to memory, we uh, got the output in a MB format, which is megabytes. However, the resulting values have several, you know, decimal places, which is unattractive. So to improve that, uh, we can make the following changes. So we can use the uh, formatting option. Next to the um, label in the expression, uh, we could uh, specify and to hash f similarly in the next hash table open brace 0 and and dash a formatting option so let's specify the open and close parentheses Okay, so if we look at this output, we could see after the dot, we see two decimal places for both virtual memory and page memory. So in this example, um, the string that proceed the uh, dash F operator, so that tells the PowerShell what data to display and of uh, the string, um, 0 colon n2 that signifies uh, displaying the first data item as the number with the two decimal places okay so that's it in this video so uh, it will be very useful if we wanted to create a custom property or the calculator property using these options. Okay, so that's it in this video and uh, I'll see you in the next.